let us discuss the plastics what is meant by plastics plastics are the polymers which can be produced by the process of polymerization the plastics can be produced by using mechanical methods and as well as chemical methods plus basically basically plastics are are two types two types one is thermo setting plastics and the second one is thermo plastics thermo plastics what is meant by thermo setting plastics thermo setting plastics are the plastics which can produce by the application of heat and uh, the state or change which produced by the use of heat is the permanent state a chemical change cannot be a reversible change such type of permanent set plastics are known as uh, thermo setting plastics examples phenolics phenolics is the example and then polyesters these two are the examples were thermo setting plastics now come for the thermo plastics what is meant by thermo plastics if a plastic material is produced by the application of heat is known as a thermoplastics here we have to understand the one important thing the heat which causes the a change on the plastic materials they become soft material on heating so we can define this thermoplastics as follows thermoplastics are the plastic materials which will become soft soft material on the application of heat so thermoplastics will become soft material or soft plastics on heating and then they will become hard on the cooling examples for the thermoplastics are pvc polyvinyl chloride poly chloride and the second one pdfe what is meant by pdfe poly tetra fluoro ethylene these are the examples for thermos plastics and again let us discuss the advantages of plastics advantages of plastics advantages of plastics first one they are light in weight light in weight second one corrosion problems are less corrosion problems are less what are the limitations limitations low melting point plastics we have low melting point 
एंड सेकेंड वन थर्मल एक्सपेंशन इज मोर थर्मल एक्सपेंशन इज मोर दिज आर दू important limitations and the two important advantages with the plastics now let us discuss the properties of plastics properties of plastics properties of plastics first one good toughness good toughness second one good damping capacity damping capacity third one good surface finish surface finish fourth one low brittleness brittleness fifth one low melting point Sixth one, low weight. Seventh one, low moisture absorption. Moisture absorption. And uh, seventh one, high. Dielectric capacity. These are the seven advantages. So seven properties associated with the plastics: good toughness, good damping capacity, good surface finish, low brittleness, low melting point, low weight, low moisture absorption, and then. high dielectric capacity now let us discuss the methods of production of plastics methods of processing of plastics first molding and the extrusion process molding and the extrusion process what are the types in the molding blow molding Blow molding, second one. Injection molding, by injection molding, we can transfer molding. Compression. Compression molding and carrying next by extrusion we can produce plastic in extrusion again there is some classification hard extrusion cold x 
explosion. By these uh, methods, we can use to produce the plastics. By the method of molding and the extrusion. By the method of molding and the extrusion. And the other methods. Other methods. What is it? Cementing. Now, let us discuss the polymers. Polymer. What is meant by polymer? Polymer. Generally, this term is derived from a Greek language. Derived from Greek language. Poly means many, many. Mer means single, single units, single unit or single molecule. Polymers are the combination of many single molecules or many single units will form the large chain structure by the process of polymerization. What is meant by polymerization? Polymerization is the process of producing large structures with help of a single unit. <coughs> Each unit or an individual molecule will be covalently bonded by each other. For the application of engineering and science these methods are invented, introduced, and practiced, implemented, and the researches are also going on on the plastics. In future, instead of uh, these plastics, will become the very good substitute for the iron. We can use these plastics for the RCC. Construction also reinforced concrete, cement concrete. In the reinforced concrete cement, we are using steel rods for the slabs to produce much strength. But uh, <coughs> the implemented or uh, 
super finished, super processed plastics can also be used for this RCC applications. Some uh, researches are going on in this field in the Institute of Indian Institute of Sciences, IISC Bangalore, Indian Institute of Sciences, Bangalore. <coughs> Polymers, thick but many. Man means single units. A single molecule are used to produce a large structure. Best example for this is ethylene. Ethylene. See, generally, this are here in your chemical formula is C2H4. C2H4. In the organic chemistry, discussed three important fields alkanes alkynes alkenes alkynes this is C N H2 N plus C N H2N, CnH2N minus. These are the chemical formulas. Ethylene, it will have the formula C2H4. Generally, it's a structure we can write the structure. Carbons to hydrogens four. So by the application of heat and pressure with the help of catalyst, this can be produced. This is ethylene can be produced into polyethylene. We can write the structure like this. This is ethylene and this is polyethylene. Ethylene and polyethylene. So this ethylene is produced into polyethylene by the process of polymerization. Understand? Ethylene is processed under the heat and the pressure, the presence of catalyst to produce polyethylene. So, by using it, we can produce large structure, large structure, chain structure can be formed with the help of polymerization to suit the engineering needs. Plastics will have various applications. Applications of plastics are the infinity. Like ocean, we can have that many applications. Industrial, chemical, in science and technology, Domestic, understand? So many applications we have. Everywhere, everywhere. There is a no field on the earth 
without the use of uh, plastics plastics will uh, help us to reduce the uh, corrosion problems they are very simple uh, low moisture absorption capacity less weight so only what are the disadvantages or limitations less melting point and uh, less strength when we compare this plastics with the metals so researchers are going on still on this plastics to to keep the plastics as a substitute for steel structure let us discuss basic uh, classifications in uh, polymeric materials there are two basic uh, classifications in the uh, polymeric materials elastomers and uh, plastics again uh, plastics are divided into two term two types thermoplastics and uh, thermosetting plastics thermoplastics are again uh, divided into two types based on applications carbon plastics and the engineering plastics what are the carbon plastics polyethylene polypropylene polyesterine and polyvinyl chloride once we see the flow charts we can easily understand the sequence of preparation of thermoplastics especially in carbon plastics so polyethylene from polyethylene we provide produce polypropylene and from this polystyrene and from this polyvinyl chloride and come for this engineering plastics from engineering plastics provide produce polyamides acetides and the cellulosics and the polycarbonates excuse me engineering plastics polyamides acetides cellulosics and uh, polycarbonates and once we come for thermosetting plastics thermosetting plastics again there is are there also two classifications common plastics and engineering plastics so what are the common plastics processing ferrolics from and unsaturated polyesters and from urea so from uh, phenolics we produce unsaturated polyesters and from them produce ureas and uh, what is the sequence of processing of uh, engineering plastics of uh, thermosetting plastics silicons urethanes melamines and uh, others here also in the thermoplastics in polycarbonates we can produce other plastics also so these are the simple information from which uh, this flow chart from this flow chart we can learn how the different different plastics are producing sequence by sequence